make sure it's in the video mode now. It is, yes. Okay. So you ready? Yes. All right. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are actually on our on location and I'm super excited about this. Our topic for this week's Life in the Spirit devotional is actually, um, are you drunk? Um, that's the topic, Life in the Spirit, are you drunk? As we continue um, talking about the, the person of the Holy Spirit, experiencing life in the Holy Spirit. The scripture that I wanna focus in today is Ephesians chapter five, and we would read verses eight to 20. Here's what it says. Don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and making music to the Lord in your hearts. And give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So our topic is, are you drunk? Um, I've never been drunk in my life, um, at least not that I remember. Um, but people who have been drunk tell me that when you are drunk, um, everything gets affected. Your sight gets affected, your speech gets affected, um, your, your, your balance gets affected, uh, your judgment gets affected. And so in, in the passage here, I find it interesting that Paul uses drunkenness to teach us about the fullness of the Spirit, to teach us about being full in the Spirit. In essence, he's saying, don't be controlled by drink, but be controlled by the Spirit. That's what he's saying. Don't be controlled by wine, but be controlled by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. He, By the way, it's interesting that when you go to places where alcohol is sold, it's actually called spirits. Um, but that's a whole different story. Paul is essentially saying, let the Holy Spirit affect the way you look at things, affect the way you speak, affect the way you, 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 you walk. Let the Holy Spirit affect the way you think. And when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, life will be a much happier experience. When God is truly the ruler of our lives, when God is truly the manager of our lives, when God is truly, when Jesus Christ is truly the Lord of our lives, we never stay in a state of, uh, of misery. We never stay in a condition of misery. It doesn't mean that you won't have a miserable moment or go through miserable situations or have miserable days, but we never stay in a state of misery. You see, just like alcohol will keep a person in a false, state of happiness and a false will give people a false sense of joy when we are filled with the holy spirit our hearts will be singing all day long as a matter of fact we will be able to thank god always for all things we will be we'll be able to be uh, to have gratitude in spite of the circumstances when we are filled with the holy spirit and so that's why the passage is clearly saying don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life instead be filled with the spirit singing psalms being happy all day long and spiritual songs singing hymns rather and spiritual songs and uh, among yourselves and making music to the Lord in your heart and giving thanks to God uh, the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ now notice that Paul doesn't say to have he does not say to have some of the Spirit he says to be filled with the Spirit to be full of the Spirit um, it, it's the idea that Christianity or the Christian religion is a religion of all um, it's an all or nothing religion. It, we, we, in other words, it's, it's all or nothing faith uh, in God. We, 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 we have faith in the all-sufficient God. The Holy Spirit wants all of us, wants to fill us and control us. Once the Holy Spirit fills us and once He gains control, then He's able to get us to do what it is that He wants us to do. So I'm challenging us to be full of the Holy Spirit. Like a cup under a faucet, our lives must be held under God. God's Spirit and whenever we grieve the Holy Spirit whenever we pull back whenever we don't do what he wants us to do um, and whenever we lie to him we quickly we must confess and repent because if not we will lose the fullness of the Holy Spirit operations in our lives notice I did not say when we grieve the Holy Spirit when we when we don't obey the Holy Spirit I didn't say we will lose the Spirit but rather we, we lose the fullness of his operation in our lives a life that is not controlled by the Holy Spirit is a life that is controlled by the flesh. And here's what the Bible says concerning the flesh in Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 21. When you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, 
quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. Every sin, he's saying that, you. somebody might say, well, I'm not, I, I haven't done any of these things. He says every sin like these, every sin in our lives is a result of the fact that we are not under the full control of the Holy Spirit. But when we are under the control of the Holy Spirit, here's what Paul says in Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, uh, faithfulness, and self-control. There is no law against this. So what am I saying? Living a life that is under the control of the Holy Spirit will not just happen. The Holy Spirit comes into our hearts as a resident, not as a renter. He comes to stay. So this week we're challenging us, I'm challenging you to ensure that we make the Holy Spirit comfortable, uh, as comfortable as possible in our lives, that we stay under His control so that we, we can be drunk in the Holy Spirit. That's our challenge. That's my challenge for you this week. Pursue the fullness of the Holy Spirit in your life. Seek to be drunk. Seek to be always under the control of the Holy Spirit. If I want to be drunk with alcohol, I got to go to a place where there is alcohol. I got to acquire alcohol. I got to drink the alcohol. So the question is, what do you need to do so that you can be under the influence of the Holy Spirit? What do you need to do so that the Holy Spirit can have full control in your life? Let's pray quickly. Father, teach each one of us to live a life that is filled and controlled by the Holy Spirit. As a matter of fact, Lord, give each one of us the desire to live a life that is filled and controlled by the Holy Spirit. Forgive us, Lord, for the times we have pulled back from your generous faucet and we've tried to do things on our own. Thank you for coming into our lives to stay, fill every part of us, and enable us to have all you have planned for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for, for watching and for taking in this week's devotional, Life in the Spirit, Are You Drunk? It is our first um, um, on location experience and yeah, I, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know, click um, uh, like the, the video. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, now is a good time to do that and send us a comment. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the week, a wonderful rest of the day. And uh, make sure that you are living under the full control of the Holy Spirit. God bless you.